dog is more than a competitor. A dog is a contender. When you perform under a high pressure, we say you got that dog in you. And when we see you after a long time, we say that's my dog. A dog will fight a fight if has to fight. They often bark, more seldom bite. But yet, a dog is, on the whole, what you would call a simple soul. A real realist, with a real tale to tell. And a real tale to tell it with. Yesterday I got a phone call around 2 a.m. from my friends Raz and Neon. From the video call, I recognized the vibrant chaos of the Red Rock Casino in Las Vegas. They were asking about my absence during the UFC bus, but I just got back from the UK. Raz was recounting about how I came up in conversation when he had a chance meeting with formidable fighter Nate Diaz in the lobby, who was my newly found friend from a recent escapade in New York. I told Nate my name was Sakeb, but in his unique way, he bestowed upon me the endearing nickname Sakuchi. Sakuchi. I wasn't really sure it was endearing until he followed me on Instagram and invited me on a sunrise horse carriage ride through Central Park. Amidst laughter, I playfully coaxed Neon into saying stomach, which I've heard him say a few times in person and on screen with his amusing pronunciation. Stomach. I told Raz I'd be back soon, and Raz is a G. He introduced me to Dana White, and legend has it that if you shake Dana's hands five times, it binds you to a UFC fight. I stand just one handshake away. For now, I'm back in Toronto after traveling the whole world this year. A lot of it with my adventurous brother Sneeko. Spain, Colombia, Thailand, Morocco. Five continents in two months. This year I used the airport like I used to use the subway in high school. We were doing projects around the globe. Real or not, I prefer the idea of a round earth. And now I'm back on the field. It's time to farm. You shouldn't take farming as a joke. I wouldn't. It's a lifestyle. I'll explain. You are the farmer. You have a process to work. The process doesn't care about your education, circumstances, experience, how much money you have, or any of the mistakes you made in the past. The field doesn't judge who the farmer is as long as you do the work. All you have to do is trust the process and have the mindset of the farmer. Everything around you is continuously changing and you can start with nothing and grow your way into whatever you choose. Did you hear me correctly? I said you can grow whichever way you choose. You can become whatever you want on the farm. Learning how to wear different gloves, connecting with your roots. The farm is about grounding yourself. You work regardless of how you feel. The feeling of a single day doesn't matter much to you. In the grand scheme of months, it's just a day. It's not an option to not do the work. Who else is gonna do it? As a farmer, you know the nature of seasons. You know that some seasons are tough and some are smooth. And either way, you're grateful. Your vision is long term. You don't complain. It's part of the journey. So you get what I'm saying, right? Listen, I'll make it simpler. Life could go up or it could go down. And imagine if you were a farmer, unfazed. You gotta grow under all conditions, regardless. Imagine you've seen the highest heights. Imagine you've seen them twice. And then you've seen the lowest of the lows. But still you rose. Now I'm thinking of Blackjack in Vegas. It's like that time when me and Raz were glued watching Dana try to win back the million dollars he lost that same night. You can have your runs, but there's always a dealer in the rotation who starts trying to be a hero like Eddie or Vanya. Let's just say Dana made his get back later on that week. No rush, like a real farmer. How often do you look at the sky? And if you're lucky to see it, how often do you admire it? What do you notice, and do you notice if it's noticing you? You can be well off and successful, but still lose your sense of gratitude for it. And you can have status and money, but what sticks out in a room is your aura. Think about it. I get a feeling there's gonna be a riot. It's funny how we chase after things that we think we want, but they're not what we need. We say we want to be happy, but we deliberately pursue things in ways that will make us unhappy. It's the classic case of losing the plot, or better yet, letting the original vision get a makeover by something superficial for a quick thrill. I realized this when I learned to farm over a year ago after a messy breakup. It just came to me. I lost friends, and soon after, my car got towed. But then I made adventures with new friends, and I worked harder for a better car. I traveled the world. I grew. In farming, your fulfillment is through the process. It's a reminder that consistency doesn't necessitate rushing. It demands a continuous effort to be creative and your willingness to learn. You can color your own reality by doing the useful things you used to do that you don't do anymore and then doing more. You'll learn that happiness can be achieved in some form daily by simply growing to where you need to get and remaining grateful for what you do get. You see what love's talking about women? Bro, I'm not. <laughs> And if you ever find that you really need to get something or somewhere, then farming makes it simple. Eat less, sleep less, and farm more. What time is it?